Oh, I'm ready I've never been so sure, quite so steady I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready I found a heart that was just like mine yeah, I found a heart that was just like mine It's the kind of love that can make you blind And I'd do anything to see him smile Oh, I'm ready I've never been so sure, quite so steady I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made Changed his life to be my man So he bought a ring and took my hand He says he's ready He's never been so sure, quite so steady He's gonna live his life to keep the promises he made Even though he makes mistakes, I know he's ready He's gonna carry I'm gonna have our hurts But it's the treasure of my life Just to spend it by his side I know I'm ready Just like mom Yeah, he makes me laugh And he lets me cry Oh, he listens when I lose my mind And now I get to go by his side I'm lucky and I'm ready Never been so sure Quite so steady I'm gonna live my life
When I'm with you, I can finally breathe. When I'm So Shelby's been with me through a lot of happy times and a lot of hard times. And she's that one person that no matter how hard life got, I could turn to. And she pulled me through it. And I know that she'll be able to do that with you too. Because I know no, no matter how hard it gets, Shelby's going to be able to be the person you can lean on no matter what. But on the upside of that, I know that whenever you have really great news to go home and tell Shelby... She's going to be that person who you cannot wait to tell, and she's going to be so excited for you. And I think those are two qualities in a marriage that are going to make y'all just run with it and be so happy. And I think I can speak for everybody here when I say that we're so excited to see what adventures life will take you on, because I know there will be some great ones. So every Sunday, Nate and I go to Jewish Church, which is also known as softball. Um, if if you're a female and you've ever gotten a call from us late on a Saturday night, it's not a booty call. It's because we need a sub for our team. You know, Nate and I, we co-coach a softball team. And every Sunday, you know, we, we are just, we're just crushing it. Now, I, I've talked a lot about Nate, but there's someone obviously that I, I have to talk to as well. We're at a wedding. Uh, and it, had it not been for this person, the wedding clearly would have happened. And so obviously, the person I'm talking about is Al Gore. Because if, if, if Vice President Gore had not invented the internet, clearly Nate would never have met this beautiful girl in a barn in Sanger, Texas. What really struck me as really interesting about the times I've seen Nate over the time he's been dating Shelby is that when I met with him, well, you know, kind of before when we were 23 to 25, every time we'd meet, it was more like, hey, I kind of like this girl, but I'm frustrated. When he met Shelby, it was, hey, I met Shelby, and I'm so excited to see her again. And that's it. He wasn't stressed. He wasn't exhausted. And he just was excited to see Shelby again. And that was it. She's an incredibly down-to-earth person, and she's incredibly sweet, strong. She is, she's a wonderful person. She's perfect for Nate. I honestly can't think of anyone better for him, and I'm so happy that these guys got married today. It's not what... I thought of Nate, it's what I observed of Nate. And I knew where his heart was at. I knew the love he had for my daughter, which was equal or more than the love I had for my daughter. And God made this happen for a reason. And I'm very thankful for that reason. We're gonna love Nate in this family, and when I say this family, I'm talking about each and every one of us here today. All right, it's a, it's a glorious day.